Late folks, how y'all doing, old man? In the land of grills, <laughs> we want to look work. Uh, we want to cook on charcoal, but it's raining, and a lot of people won't. You know, ah, it's raining. I want to get the charcoal off. But I'll tell you what: when you've got gravity charcoal cookers like I've got here, we've got the charcoal that we're going to use today. Rain don't mean nothing, folks, because you can use these things in the rain. In fact, we're going to show you a few things that people have been asking me questions with. We're going to be covering the uh, heat diffuser with aluminum foil today. Everybody asks me about that. Why are you doing that? And it's just to make cleanup easier, but I'm going to show you how I do it. And then I've got a steak and some sausage uh, stuffed mushrooms. Uh, we're going to get the steak nice, low and slow. And then we're going to turn this thing up to 700 and get an awesome sear in it. We're going to show you how to sear on the char griller Gravity 980. Keep on watching, folks. All right, so you're asking what kind of aluminum foil I use. This is from uh, Sam's Club. It's a uh, member's mark. And you can see it's uh, 18 inches wide by 500 feet. Uh, this is the heavy duty stuff. And that's what I use. It works very nicely. All right, so I don't even take the heat diffuser off to put it on. I just drape it over and I just make creases where the creases are. And then I'll, I'll just uh, fold things over with uh, put my gloves on here first. And I'll just fold things over on the bottom and just fold it up just like that. Now, you're, you're, some people have asked, well, what about the slots? What about the slots? Well, then I just take, we know where the slots are, right? So I just take a knife and I just cut where the slots are just like that. And I'll do the rest of them. And then I'll just open them up. I'll use my fingers and just, just open them up. That way your smoke and your heat will still come out and uh, everything works just fine. And it's easy to clean up because then when you get a bunch of grease on there, you just pull it off and throw it away. Super simple, folks. B&B, &B, folks, hotter, longer, <laughs> better. Uh, and uh, I've got some uh, chunks of mesquite. Look at that, now that's a chunk. I'm gonna put one in, I'm gonna put some more B&B &B on top of that. And then we got one more chunk. All right, the fire is going. Pulled the slide, bottom door is open, top door is open. We've got the, uh, where the fan is, that door is open. And the back vent is open. All right, folks, got us at 225. See, we're 222. Uh, and uh, we'll just uh, give you a look, see here. Montreal seasoning on there, folks. I didn't trim any of this. This is the way it came from, from the butcher, very nice. Got our saucer stuffed mushrooms. We're gonna put this on the top shelf, just like that. Get a little smoke, take it up to about 100, and then we're gonna fire this thing up to 650 and give her a sear. All right, folks, it's been on 225 for, oh boy, I'll tell you, it's probably been about 25 minutes. And it's just uh, some nice smoke coming out of there. Let's take a look-see. And we are, I don't know if you can see that, but we're 94. 94 degrees, so about six six degrees to go. And then uh, we're gonna fire this up to 650. Give them a sear. All right, steak's off. I just set it to 600, and I pressed a turbo button on the fan that puts it in high speed. I'm not kidding, that's high speed. Holy smokes, we'll be at 600 here in uh, less than two minutes. Oh, cheapers. I should've just left the camera on because uh, what I love, but even on turbo, it, th it throttles down that fan to get you right to that 600. We'll see how far it overshoots here. Well, it's gonna overshoot a little bit, I think. That's pretty impressive, folks. That's really impressive. Well, I didn't forget about the sauce and stuffed mushrooms there. They are, oh man, those look delicious. All right, I did set it to 650 now. And it did overshoot, uh, probably by about, uh, well, you can see right there, nine, nine degrees. But it's, she's starting to go back down already. So, you know, that's really, really impressive. All right, steaks on grills at 650, so she is hot, hot, hot. Take a quick look here. Oh, man. Oh, look at that. That is nice. Really nice. Yeah, and we're getting a little grease to grease off the uh, steak there, but it's burning off. All right, folks, we are ready. Look at that. Oh, man, I'll tell you what. We're going to let that burn off, but I'll... 
Look at that steak, that is nicely done. You can see once the grease is off, burns right on the heat deflector there, and then it goes out. So I'd rather have it up there doing that as opposed to underneath where we can get a much larger grease fire. So it's handling it right there at the surface as opposed to underneath. So we're gonna let this burn off for just a little bit and then uh, I'll give you, give you a look-see at the steak. All right, been rusting for about five minutes. Let's go right through the middle here. Man. Yeah, that is, uh, yeah, that's medium rare. Tell you what, let's take a little taste test here. Let's get into back here where we know what's gonna be the nicest. I know I'm using a steak knife. I get crap all the time about people saying, oh, you're using a serrated blade. <clears throat> that's what I like to use. <laughs> oh wow folks <laughs> that's delicious thumbs up leave a comment on the char griller 980 gravity charcoal grill